Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. It's about 20 minutes after 5. It's time to head to the tent. According to my phone, it's 25 degrees at the tent right now going to 45 degrees today. Tonight it's dropping down to 17. Everything is under a freeze warning for the next few days up there and here too. Um, it's just going to be a chilly weekend. My dad, last weekend, he went up to the folks cabin and uh, he had to use four-wheel drive to get in because there was so much snow. And uh, he made it up to the driveway and then he had to take the four-wheeler to go out to the, his truck and grab his stuff to get into the cabin. He had stopped at the end of the driveway, walked in. And, uh, but then there's been some warm days, so the snow, I would think, would be gone now. Because um, there was a couple of 60 plus degree days this week. But anyway, at least he made it in. He was so excited. He wanted to go on up there a couple weeks before that and just uh, couldn't do it. There was just too much snow. My dad just texted me and he is leaving uh, mom and dad's house at seven o'clock this morning. That'll put him up to the cabin uh, 11 to 11.30, right around there. If the bait shop is open, this little bait shop, they also do some uh, car repair and boat repair here. And this is a place, one time I had trouble on a Sunday, I had to get my truck towed. And brought it back, they, this was the closest place, brought it in here. Remember when Zach had trouble when he was uh, deer hunting and he had to get his fixed and it was on a Sunday. Brought it in here, fixed it that day. Not many people wear a mask up here, but I'm definitely gonna put one on. Well, they didn't have any minnows yet. They're actually coming up later today. They should be here in an hour or so. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. It's gonna be so cold this uh, weekend. I have worms here and then I usually fish with uh, spinner bait or a spoon, but Melissa likes to um, use the minnows and stuff, but we'll be up here on, I'm sure, Memorial Weekend, and uh, I'll get some then. The roads look a little bit different coming up right now versus, what is it now, May, beginning of May, and it was the beginning of March, so just two months ago was when I was up here for the winter trip. Uh, one grouse on the side of the road. I had to swerve to the left and I've seen three uh, snowshoe rabbits. I never see rabbits when I'm driving up here and I've seen three of them in the last probably five miles. I was just thinking about the tent journal and I suppose I'm gonna have to, when I was up for the winter trip, there was no coronavirus, COVID-19, nothing. And uh, I suppose I'm gonna have to write about that in the journal. Still some snow where the on the right side of the road here where it's a little more shaded in the afternoon. Otherwise the scene is pretty much gone.
Remember this tree here was down when I was up here for the winter trip. Now I'll be able to cut this up. Fire pit looks a heck of a lot different when it doesn't have snow up as high as the chairs. Well, it seems we definitely had some critters in here. Oh my goodness, what a mess. Looks like one of those water containers must have uh, froze and cracked because I've got some wet floor there. That's definitely where they've been coming in. It looks like they've got a piece of my mouse poison brought over here too. I put big blocks of that out up on top in the top shelf in the back room so they had to drag that all the way over here. I had a bag of pemmican up there. I did not know I had that out and not in the uh, mouse-proof uh, two cabinets that I have. That's all been eaten. That's gone. They got stuff messed up in here too. But they didn't touch my pen and my pad there. <laughs> So not that big of a deal. Everything looks pretty good. I will definitely, I couldn't do it in the winter. I didn't have the stuff for it, but I will patch that hole that they put in the side there. And it's got to be squirrels that are coming in. Um, so yeah, it won't be long. It'll be squirrel season. Definitely burned a lot of wood during the winter trip because I had cleaned that out when I showed up. I'm going to get that cleaned out right now and let's get this fire started. I'd say that's the one that broke. <laughs> oh man. Put a fan on that later to dry it out.
First things first, got to get the can cooler up into the freezer. See what I brought up. I brought up crackers, hot buffalo wing pretzel pieces. I brought up some more of these platter plates. I didn't know if we had any up here or not. I couldn't remember. I always throw away the top plate because you never know what kind of critter was up there. brought up a whole bunch of canned vegetables since this is the first time up. Now even if you guys watched on the Jones Act Survival of Northern Seclusion Facebook, I even found two cans of the whole purple plums for, because remember last year deer hunting, Sarah, we couldn't find any so she didn't have any to eat. So I found it and I bought two cans <laughs> ready for her for deer hunting. Got some canned fruit, some fruit cocktail type stuff. Crap, it warms up a lot faster in here in the, uh, when it's 37 degrees outside now compared to the winter trip. It's warm, 70.0 point, 70 point right now in here. Well, I brought up a new pitcher pump for the uh, Sandpoint well up here. Last fall, before winter, I I like to prime it and pump it a couple times a year just to know that it works, you know, and everything's fine. And last fall I came out and primed it, but something wasn't right. I can't remember what it is. I remember thinking it must be a gasket and there is a gasket between this piece and this piece that must have blown out. Maybe it got wet and um, froze and cracked or something, I don't know. And I just bought a new one up at the farmhouse and then I bought the second one for the farmhouse also, but I thought I'm gonna put that one up here. I want this one to work good. I'll bring this one back and I'll get the new seal and I'll use this there because I'm in no hurry on the second pump. Yeah at the farm at all. But I do want this one to work because in an emergency situation, pumps really nice water. The reason why I bring up clear water, I get that question a lot, is because the water here is really iron stained. You know, this is the Iron Range area of Minnesota. They There's iron mines that are, I don't know, 100 miles from here. Anyway, it's really iron stained. And, but we had tested it and it tests fine for drinking. It just doesn't look the best in your cup. So I bring up clear. 
if we run out or if I stay up here for an extended period of time, which I've done in the past, then I can use this. I can't believe it's not even 10.30 in the morning right now. I'm already hungry for lunch. Remember Windex. I still have to uh, find a snow shovel. I was actually thought about the snow shovel when I was at the store the other day, but hey, I got my mask on and there's all kind of people in there with no masks on. It's like, ah, there's no snow yet. We'll wait. You can clearly see that that is right where they've been getting in. They've chewed that open just enough. fixes that problem. Hey Ed. nice and here. I know, it was only 34 when I first came in, so then I <laughs> started that I cleaned out the stove because I had a lot of ashes from last uh, from the oh. winter trip and then yeah I got it going so Wait. Must be four and a half hours. Did, it, did they not? They didn't have the road closed there yet, yeah. did they? Oh, they did. How did you have to go? Well, you, you and I come up there, I see those two road poles things locking the whole road. Did they have them closed together or could you still get through? There was um, a hot space through, but I don't think you could drive, or if you did it, it was just for other trucks. Oh, okay, because when I went through, I could get through. And then they, were, they were dropping off culverts. They were separated on each side of the road. And so oh, I drove no. straight so through. This, the, the one going through the door hard was completely blocked. Oh, it wasn't like that. No, no. And, and then oh, only part of the other side, I suppose, for them to go through in. Well, out of there, you could. Right, so right. Did, did, did you see over here where the tarp, tarp is off for you? Oh, I didn't look at it yet, but I saw that picture, and that's happened before, so I did buy another tarp, and if I staple it up in there and bring it down, it'll last yeah. for five years, probably, oh, but yeah. I'll see if I can put something else in there. At least it wasn't wet in here, so it's drained. If, if it, if before, if that tarp came down part way, water would run oh, underneath yeah. here, and it was dry. It was wet right yeah. there, and one of my five-gallon things of water that was in here, the sides split out of it so the oh, floor is right <laughs> and then a squirrel had got in here and I had stuff all over the place that was on the ground and stuff and but I, there was a hole in that corner that I saw at the winter trip but I didn't have any tools to do anything with it so now I just put a deck board and screwed it all in oh, and yeah. then I have that mouse poison that sits up on the top corner and they're blocks they're like an inch yeah. by an inch like this long they drug one all the way over to in front of the hole so whoever was doing it probably is dead because you can see that they had chewed on it, so I picked it up and put it back, but yeah. <laughs> I didn't have any, I, um, huh. So yeah, I was surprised too that I saw rabbits, you know. I never remember seeing them when I was driving up here. Yeah. Well, I got to hurry and do some painting. I was going to do those little bit, and now I got enough 
to, 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 to do all the rest of the uh, windows. Oh, you do? Go around it, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, but uh, the paints that I fear is, is all it's just hurry on paint or right now they set in the sun. And then then you will be truck driving in the morning. You know? Oh yeah, otherwise you can start your stove in your workshop, you know, but you might probably yeah, warm enough. But, 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 but I got a week is cold the whole damn week, you know. I know, it's horrible. The cold front coming from Canada. Yeah. Coming right. I don't know, yeah, my phone even showed a freeze warning for Anoka. Yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, but I didn't look. Yeah, so yeah, I saw I saw 17 for tonight up here. Is what yeah. my phone said. Yeah, and my mom, you know, is getting ready to pull out. But um, you know, the earnings, you you can't put stuff out. It freezes. She said she always plants it the day after Mom Mother's Day, which is. Sunday, yeah, and but sh but they said to don't. See you later. Yeah, we'll see you later. Well, I was hungry at 20 after 10, and now it's almost 20 after 12. I need to grab the cooler and bring it up, and I'm going to just cook up a couple of, heat up a couple of bratwurst, I think, for lunch. At least my dad made it up here, and that's good. I brought these buns up from home. There was two left that were in the chicken thing to feed to the chickens or in the area that we feed to the chickens. And it's like, I'm gonna have brats today. So I grabbed them out this morning because I knew I just wanted to have a quick lunch. Well, I wouldn't call that a healthy lunch, but I do have some fruit juice in there. <laughs> At least it was quick. Well, let's see if she'll start after the winter.
works beautifully. Well, I just got done talking to Melissa on the phone for about an hour. I have my truck running right now. I want to uh, drive around the loop because just to see if any trees have come down or anything. And then I I might walk in going to Zachary's stand. He had a uh, trail camera that was put up. And then I was going to take it out the third weekend if Zach couldn't come up here. Well, then I shot my deer. I left, was planning on coming back up here, but then they got dumped on with snow, so uh, I never came back up. And I'd like to grab that and see what uh, the winter has brought with pictures. This tree right here must have fell down this winter because I never was that far into the road. It must have uh, snapped off. Oh, there's Zachary's deer stand, and there's his camera right there, kind of looking down this trail, and then this one comes up too. Well, I got his camera, and I think that the battery is still good in it, so I don't know how many pictures it will have taken from right there, but it's been uh, since the beginning of November, so it's the beginning of May, so six months. I just texted Zachary a picture of the camera on the tree and he said, oh sweet, he forgot all about that. Well, Zach just texted me again and he said he has two of them that are out there. I got the first one and he said I have to go past where his stand was. I'll have to ask him a little bit more. I'll drive this loop again tomorrow and we'll stop in there and grab it. Uh, I'm not going to go back there tonight, so... Definitely the first one to drive through here with a car or a four-wheeler this year. gate open on this side yet. Well that sucks. They put that in so no snowmobilers and nobody tries to drive in here in the winter time. I'm gonna have to call them up and have them come and open this side up too. Well I just called. They're gonna open it up tomorrow. For next year I'm gonna get my own key. It's ridiculous. see what we ended up with. Let's 
Zach out there hunting. Something is right there. There it is again. It's a doe. Now I don't see any horns. Although they probably would have dropped. The date isn't right on this. This is 2017, 1 9, but this could be. He probably has the date right as far as being January 9th. I don't know though. There's not all that much snow there. So there's another one. So that's Zach, huh, is that, that's not Zachary, I don't think, it's not, somebody else just walking in there, so this, huh, there's somebody with a gun right there again, right over here, like this, see how there's nothing? There, there's something fuzzy. It looks to me like the deer aren't really running here. They like to run right in here, too. Oh, maybe not. There now I can see there's a tree. Maybe that's what I was seeing. There's a deer. This one it wasn't too long ago because the snow was melting. Let's see how they look. That camera needs to be tilted down a little bit. They try. They don't really aren't really using this trail coming up. So there's the tail or the back end of another one. There's me coming in with my camera. <laughs> all right, so now that it's close up like that, let's go all the way back. Yeah, it looked like this guy came in. Because this was at 824.12, whatever that is. And Zachary's gun does not have a, like the stainless steel barrel on it. This is 824, 843, so he must have just walked in, down that trail, and then walked back. And this is, he probably just turned around and looked, because this is 43, and this is 46, and it's still that lighter colored barrel. Pretty cool. Since we're here, I pulled the two cameras that I could get to up front, and I already looked at those. And there was a little bit of interesting stuff, not animal-wise, but... So this is, of course, winter trip. That's when I'm leaving. Coming back to get the camera. But here on February 28th, at 9.41 at night, there was a group of people that, they're on snowshoes. Looks like there's a kid. And then they just leave. And then these people were skiing out, you'll see on the other camera. A lot of cross-country skiing around here and snowshoeing, so. Then you can just see the ice breaking up. That's it. This is the one on the front of the tent. This had two folders and each folder will get 999. So this one has, well, I guess, let's see. 
682 meg, 454. I probably have 15 or 1600 pictures on here. So it starts when I'm still up here. There really was no animals. There was two. There was a fox a couple of times and a rabbit a couple of times. And I don't know if it was even in this folder. So then I'm coming up into here. I just fast forward to that because, and you can see the people that were um, at nighttime were out there with the white. Somebody did walk up. And I mean, this, I was up there, um, this was on the 28th of February. So um, I hadn't been gone all that long. And there, because I mean, there's not even snow on this. So. And then these skiers were the other people. And sometimes they'll loop around and they'll go up my dad's dock and then they can go all the way through and then come out and then come down the tent driveway and then out to the lake. What was that? Mr. Squirrel right there, the one that's been raving, raising havoc inside the tent. Seen him a few times on here. Otherwise there wasn't a whole lot. A whole flock of ducks just landed right there. You can see them swimming around. I think those are buffalo heads. No. I guess I don't know. They come in like divers, whatever they were. They might be uh, bluebills. I guess I could look with my binoculars. They are definitely bluebills. And they are just in their beautiful spring plumage. It's really nice. You can see them playing around, kind of rafting out there in the center. If you can even see that in this camera, I'm not sure. It's just to the left of the ladder. I wasn't even going to bring potatoes up this time because Melissa is thinking about making a big batch of potato salad for when she comes up and then I went shopping and I couldn't do it. I had to buy some potatoes and I was thinking for tonight because she doesn't show up till tomorrow night, uh, what do I have with, I'm going to make a chuck roast and so I can eat it tonight and tomorrow for lunch and um, I so I bought potatoes and I haven't really had a baked potato in a long time because Melissa, I've been staying at the farmhouse, you know, during this whole shutdown thing and um, not going to the hobby farmhouse except for just to, if I have to grab something quick. And she is a much more elaborate cook than my throw a potato on, throw a chunk of meat on and open up a can of veggies. So a baked potato is going to be nice. I'm going to have one for dinner tonight and one for lunch tomorrow. I was surprised when I went to the store to pick up the few things that I needed uh, for up here. Uh, I looked at the meat section and everything and hamburger now was almost seven dollars a pound. It was like holy crap. Yeah, I mean, there was plenty of stuff on the shelves. The chicken was a little bit picked through for sure. And, but I was surprised at how prices are going up. We don't go to the store very often. We went and bought, and when we have to go to the store, we go to the store so we don't have to keep going in there. You know, they complain if you buy a lot of stuff, but then they tell you to not go out as much as you possibly can 
So which one? You know, you're bad if you go all the time, and you're bad if you buy a bunch of stuff. So anyway, I was just surprised at how high the meat prices are getting right now. Well, I was going to switch these out, but this is on so tight. I think what I'm going to do is pull these two bolts, and I can see that that... I want to see what's in there. Did it just fall down? Did it break? So I think I'll do that if I have this wrench. I th I'm pretty sure I do. But I want to get that roast on, on the barbecue and get that cooking first. Smells good. All right, I'm going to grab a glass of milk and it's dinner time. Tried put us putting a socket on this, but you can't. It uh, it won't fit behind there. And I thought it was 11 sixteenths, and the five eighths is the biggest wrench that I've got up here. And uh, but I have sockets that are bigger. And then I grabbed the five eighths, and I could have done this a while ago. So you can see right here how this just isn't round anymore. And the thing is, I can probably order this piece right here, and I'll try to, but the whole new uh, pump is $39.99, so I should just put it on. I can't get this to unscrew though. I need to have a longer bar, and I'll see if I have one tomorrow to pull it off. Looks like the floor and everything is dried out real nice. I'll still leave that fan on until bedtime. It's 34.3 outside, 78.8 inside. I haven't reset the time and I have been here for 12 hours and 8 minutes. Okay everyone, it's a few minutes before 10 o'clock. I'm gonna be going to bed in about a half hour. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning everybody. Just watched two trumpeter swans come in for a landing.
It's warmed up to 22 degrees out there right now, but uh, that wind is picking up and it is feeling pretty raw. At least it's sunny out. Just want to make sure that battery is still good. I'm going to want to take a shower later with Melissa probably coming up to, uh, tonight, um, but everything seems to be good. I just ran down and grabbed uh, one of the other trail cameras and it's cold out there. <laughs> that wind is just bites right through you. I don't think that uh, I've checked this one since before deer hunting, maybe. I don't even know. Maybe I did. I don't know. But uh, these batteries, I'm sure, didn't make it the whole winter. So this was October 5th. I'm going out with the umbrella. So that's, yeah, definitely pre-deer hunting. There's Sarah walking back from her deer stand. There's Zachary coming up with his car. Remember he had car trouble and had to go back the next day. There's the battery cable. We put the battery on his, uh, like in the front on the passenger side and ran the cables to his battery. Well, that's about it for this one here. This is uh, December 2nd. I'm surprised during the deer hunting thing, I mean, I drug that deer back with the four-wheeler and I would have come right up the driveway and it never took a picture of that at all. It's like it went from that second weekend to all the snow on the 23rd when nobody was up here. It's almost 8.30 in the morning. I'm bored. I think I'm going to get my chainsaw and let's cut that tree up in the front yard that blew over last year. You can see how that middle of that tree was just rotting out and the ants are in there and everything. It looks so healthy sitting there, but uh, it really was weak.
by combining the parts from the two because they're a little bit different. <laughs> they're not the exact same well, but by putting the top on this bottom, that part was the same. And now I have water again. That looks a little better anyway. I'd really like to go out another section and then L it, you know, to the right or the left. I've got enough pieces for it, I just can't do that by myself. Come on in. Didn't it work, uh, This part here on the old one. See, this thing got all bent out of shape, so it wouldn't suck. So I bought a new one, but they're a little bit different. Just a like this is a 11 16th, and that was a 5 8 So I took. Do I have more of those in my shop? I don't know. I had the new one, so I took the top off of the new one oh, I see. and put it out there, and now it pumps water. And then um, this one, I'll just you can buy this part for yeah. um, you'd have about 15 bucks into getting this part, but then this is leather, and then you don't know if the inside leather is bad, and that's another oh, yeah. anyway. A brand new <laughs> pump is $39. So I'm gonna have you, I got one big dead one. I suppose it's about that big for around that uh, it, it has only a so I uh, I know, have you cut it so then I can look to down out to the lake more. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, and now you're getting it split up. That's good.
that even open to see it up, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that would be good. Well, it's about 10 to 12. Time to get in there and heat up some lunch. So this video, unlike last year, when we came up for opening fishing, I did one video and I ran it on both channels. I uploaded it to both channels. I'm not going to do that this time. It takes too long to upload them. It's, uh, to me, you know, it's like cross posting or whatever. So once Melissa gets up here, which will be in a few hours, uh, I'm going to end this video. And then the new video will start tonight, and that one is going to go over on the Northern Seclusion channel. Because when Melissa comes up here, I film differently. Like, I don't film everything, so it gets to be a little bit different. So I decided to do it that way. Then I'm, only just, I'm editing two separate videos, and I'm uploading two separate videos. Probably what 90% of the time I'm up here all by myself, and all those go on Joe and Zach Survival. And the season is just beginning. So, if you're not subscribed to uh, Northern Seclusion, I will I'll leave a link in the description so you can go over there. But for right now, I'm going to jump in the shower.
thing is filthy. I got my truck running right now. I, uh, when I was coming up, they were just about to close a section of road uh, on the way up here. I think they're going to put in new culverts. And I could get through, but when my dad came up, the road was closed. Well, now it's Friday, late enough in the afternoon, so I'm going to drive down its a ways and see if it's open. Because if it's not, then Melissa has to have a different route to get up here. And um, I'll have to let her know what that is. Uh, opened back up again. The road closed things were over in the ditch on the side. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks a lot for watching. Melissa should be up here in about 20 more minutes. And I will start filming again. I will see you guys on the next video.